These instructions and the functioning of the care plan feature do not consider compliance obligations, which may vary from state to state. Contact a compliance expert in your state to fully understand your billing responsibilities. Hello there, I'm a member of the training team and today I'll show you how to use the care plan tab in the patient account. Enter the patient account and then click the care plan tab. To create a new care plan, click the new button. Note that the text fields with red asterisks are required. In the name field, enter a name for the new care plan. A consistent naming convention is strongly recommended. Use the start and end date fields to enter the date that the patient started the treatment plan and when you expect them to complete their care. Complete the text fields by entering information or using the arrows to choose numbers. In the Insurance Visits field, enter the number of visits to bill to insurance. In the Cash Visits field, enter the number of visits to bill directly to the patient. Enter the max amount of money per visit that you want to charge the patient in the Money Per Visits fields. If you fill in this field for the insurance portion, be aware that the write-off will not occur until the claim is in patient status and will not exclude amounts marked off as deductible. In the Free Visits field, enter the number of visits for which you do not want to receive payment. The Expected Insurance Collection and expected insurance completion date fields are optional, but recommended. The expected insurance collection should be the total amount you expect to get from insurance for their portion of the visits. Completion date is the date when you expect to have received all the insurance payments. If you have not received your expected amount by the expected date, a ticket will be opened. In the Used field, enter a number only if you have already billed visits that should be included in the care plan. Visits that have been checked in but have not been billed should not be included in this field. The Notes field is for office use. You can type any note that you want to in this area. It is often used for descriptions of the plan and payments. Select Yes here so the care plan ledger is in the Patients Transaction tab. You can ask your coach to make this the default setting for your practice so that you don't have to select yes every time. Once your coach updates this setting and confirms the setting is already in place, you can leave this drop down menu at default. You can also make a plan active or deactivate an older plan by clicking the set active deactivate button, followed by the save button. Make sure you click the Save button before leaving the page. You will not be warned about losing changes if you navigate to another care plan without first clicking Save. Click Set Active and Save. Once you have created a care plan, you can use the View menu to obtain details about transactions. Please note, if you have not clicked Save like I just showed you, you can't use any of the options in this menu because you didn't create the plan yet. Now you can view receipts, payments, and CPT codes here. Click on CPT and use it to list the CPTs that you want to be considered within the care plan. Now a bit more about claims and CPTs. If a claim is billed that contains a CPT that is also in this list, then that claim will be counted toward the care plan. The visits used count is increased when you do this. If a claim is billed and does not have any CPTs that are listed here, then the claim is not part of the care plan and the used count is not increased. If this list is blank, all CPTs are counted so all claims, other than over-the-counter POS purchases, will count as part of the care plan. Now a claim can be billed out with multiple procedures but not all of them have to be part of the care plan. 
A claim with some CPTs as part of the care plan will have the care plan attached to the claim, but only those CPTs in the list. That means only their balances will be considered when calculating the dollars per visit. You can also access the patient's logs and ledgers here. The ledgers will show you financial information about the care plan. What you see in these ledgers will depend on what you select on the Money on Trans drop-down at the bottom of the page. The ledger for Yes selected from the Money on Trans will show the patient's claims tab showing the claims associated with the care plan and any payments on those claims. The ledger for No selected on Money on Trans will open the Cash tab and show all the payments for care plan discounts entered. The logs will show you when the care plan was created and by who. It also shows the date and time each time a visit was used. If anyone goes in and changes anything, such as visits used, visits allowed, etc., then you will be able to see that here. When editing a care plan, select a plan and change the information as needed. Again, make sure you click Save before leaving the tab. To delete the care plan, click on the Delete button. Open a ticket to your coach if you have any questions. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click Like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.